Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, be sure to come back tomorrow. It's raining because we're, we're sad. We're on our balcony. Because we're checking out, and so are the Earhart's. Check out Stinks even when it's one day. I know. Oh, it's so foggy. Alright, so I think the air hearts are still collecting themselves. I think we're going to Epcot, right? For like a breakfast brunchiness yeah. at France. Mm -hmm. But I've always seen a sign and it's not always out. So I think we're just gonna take the elevator to the third floor. And see what's going on. What the bar was? No. 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 I think it has to do with like. I think we may not even be allowed. I think it has to do with like, like events. Like you have to book. It's like a meeting space. Another sign to the attic. Uh, this is wild. I don't know. It's just like the end of the hall. Welcome to the attic. This looks cool. It's open. It looks. Really cool. Why don't we hang out? Oh my. It's like literally like an egg. Like leftover stuff. I'm fairly certain that we may not supposed to be in here right now. They but didn't have a million signs pointing to Right, they did. Well, there's a, there's a floating bar and there's water here and there's like service. Because I, I know there's like things up here. There's a bathroom in there, companion. Oh my gosh, look at Spaceship Earth! You can go outside! And you can go outside. Hold on. This is not my favorite resort, I think. <laughs> Peter. Not favorite place, favorite resort. Look, Spaceship Earth. Oh, so you're like, it's like above jelly rolls. We're above jelly rolls. This is the coolest place. Are you like. Ah, there's little birds being friendly right there. What is this amazingness that we never knew? How many times have I run past this? So there's Atlantic Dance Hall. We're right above Jolly Rolls. Jolly Rolls is down there. What? Oh, I can see um, not only Space Birth, but I can see D the DVC Lounge is popping up. The ceiling is amazing. Um, this is just incredible to me. I can't even. Wait, is this a napkin holder? Look at this napkin holder. This is a nice napkin holder. Nautical things. All these little tables that you can spread out with these cute chairs. This is literally my favorite thing in the whole world. Boardwalk here, my favorite resort. Just for this attic. I said it. Club in search of a snack. So there's this little allergy friendly Sunshine. area. Yeah. yeah. Like, what are these? The Aaron McKenna? Yeah, everything at Aaron McKenna sugar, is um, chocolate dipped vegan. Yeah, totally vegan. The whole thing of double chocolate brownie vegan and these rice chips. What do you want to get? We're also chips. going into France to get bread, but we just wanted a little thing to tidy this over. Yeah, I think uh, rice chips and a donut. Z racer out over here. We've well, never, I don't know if I've seen it like in action over here. But you get them at the where we picked up the boat last night. Hey, yeah, and Beef Club. We're doing that soon. Yeah, yeah. We're back with the clan. The, their bags are packed given to the bell services, they return to the rental stroller. And we're moseying on over to France to get some food. Then two o'clock? 2.30. That, that 30 minutes is crucial. Yeah. We're in France to get some breakfast and I am kid cutting it with the kids. Bonjour. <laughs> Perfect. It even matches. Which Look at this you get fairly there, like, well Peace. Did you get that? Alright, we're just kind of hanging out. Got some water, getting some last vacation hugs from the baby. Did you have a great first Disney World trip? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
six hours later. It literally has been <laughs> six hours since we last picked up the camera. But it's a good thing because you don't want to see us say goodbye to the Earhart. You don't want to see us crying afterwards. <laughs> we came back and rejoiced with Eve, but then sulked that the Earharts were gone. Edited the vlog, watched some Gilmore Girls. Now we're really hungry. We're going to Disney Springs to watch the movies, but we gotta get. We're gonna try to get vegan pub subs? Yeah, like all veggie, but like they like know how to make a good sandwich. What is Eve doing? <laughs> there she is. Um, so we kind of wanted it to be a little bit fancier. And it's rainy, so we're getting our comfies. And we're gonna try to see Rocket Man, but we gotta eat first because we're both getting closer and closer and closer to hangry, to hangry level. I'm gonna go swimming. Look at this cute girl. I don't know what to do now that the air hearts are gone. My life is like all in we questions. We have more visitors coming. Okay, um, good thing we're going to Disney Springs because these are some brutal looking clouds. All right, so I tried. I thought I was being nice and I was like, oh, just all the vegetables on both, which was one with mustard. And right as like she goes to put a bunch of vegetables on, Sarah's like, wait, wait, no olives. They didn't realize they had olives and Sarah hates olives. So, so she's digging I'm through hers now. <laughs> I'm gonna eat them. I went, not. if there were like, if it was something that I was like okay with, like it'd be like whatever. But like, she really doesn't like olives. I know, and olives like leave their taste behind, so I'm even a little worried, but, but the hopefully there's enough. Other t t flavors going on. We got guacamole. We got the pub deli sauce. Yeah. So we're gonna devour this in the parking lot because we're that hungry, and then we're gonna get over to Disney Springs. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? Ooh, ooh, for a clan neck bar. Just kidding. Sugar Bill. What okay, would you do fact, without Sugar Bill? When we got back to um, Chicago after a college program, and we ate a clan neck bar. Peter said that Klondike bars tasted like dirt compared to Mickey Premium bars. I it's remember that so vividly. Because it's, it's a fact. They do taste like dirt compared to Mickey Premium bars. Um, in this like, they like make their own displays here? Look at the Chanchitos. I think I need a big Chanchito just so I can do that with my little Chanchito at work. I keep track of my water intake with this little thing. It says expect the miracles. Yeah. Oh, I never told you guys. I was prescribed eight glasses of water and eight hours of sleep a day yeah so so we have to adjust our schedules now we will we're gonna listen we're gonna do which means i probably will end up getting eight hours of sleep a day too hopefully i need a cpap machine <laughs> i need to go to pulmonologist more side so note. side Your note needs. we're convinced no doctor yeah, we're convinced i have uh what's it called sleep, sleep apnea. apnea so we're like semi actually shopping because one of our friends sent us a gift card to sugar boo and i think this is going to be my new obsession. I've never heard of it before. The Haig? The Haig? Life? <laughs> Embracing the Nordic art of coziness through recipes, entertaining, decorating simple rituals and family traditions. I love a good cozy. Look at that. Look at that, like, um, big summer blowout <laughs> closet right there. There is a shirt here that's literally like the logo. It's a wonderful <gasps> life. And I'm that's me and you. Wow. Me and you, you and me. <gasps> yeah. I need, we need to get <gasps> hot chocolate. <gasps> I think we need to get this or order on Amazon because it's 22, which isn't bad, but I'm sure it's on Amazon. I need that in my life. It doesn't. I need it to turn. It's a it's a fraud because it's a permanent right angle. It needs to be able to swivel. Now it's 100% a serious statement. One more stop before the show. And this is in honor of our friend Ben who left today. Because he rocks every Disney. His goal in life is to get every Disney probably back on the shirt. Ben, do you have this one? Wait, I don't think he has this one though. Wait, do you have that one? That's a nice one. This is a nice one and I think it's new. He just got this one. Yeah. And he just got this one, I think. I like this simple. I, don't think he has I did this just one. see um a Minnie Mouse. Hold on, I'll show you. Pull over. That right there, that's super cute. All right, so we're heading over to the theater. It's a 10-15 show. Did we say we're seeing Rocket Man? Oh, I don't know, but we're going to see Rocket Man. Rocket Man. I'm super pumped because we haven't been in the movies in like a month, yeah. which means hopefully new trailers. Oh but my gosh, chicken guy smells so good. The bittersweet part is we're going to a 10-15 show. We just made it to Disney Springs, which means we can't go to any other stores right now. Do you see what I see? This is a Toy Story 4 little photo op. So, Sarah, so they went on pre-sale, so Sarah and I with AMC A-List can pre-order our opening night tickets. 
and all the like the really good screens and all good times are sold out so we're still going to go opening night but we're not going to buy our tickets yet because we've got major plans to pretty much live in amc for the next like week yeah. we have like seven movies we need to go see because we've been busy we haven't been able to check them out fun if you're gonna be in um well disney world i know it comes out the 21st but if you go to hollywood studios the preview in the walt disney presents one man's dream building is the first 17 minutes of the movie i don't think we're gonna go see it i think we're gonna wait but if you're into that sort of thing do it but i need i need to is he sporky or is he forky? Kieran is convinced it is forky. And I actually don't know what it is, but I think it should I think be it, I sporky. I think it is forky, but it should be sporky. Because he's obviously confused because he's like, are you my mom? Here we go. Rocket Man at 1015. Now I'm seating. What are those lights? It is, what time is it? Almost one in the morning. It is almost one in the morning. What are those lights? I know. So Sarah, what'd you think? It's very entertaining. It was not what I expected. I like, I don't know what I thought. I expected. From movie design or like his life? The movie design. Yeah. Um, like I really enjoyed it. I thought it was maybe gonna be like, I don't say like less cheesy. Well, like you, it was like you told me right like, before that, that you heard that they were trying to make it not as theatrical. Yeah, like when not like a Broadway sh like the, it didn't like function like a Broadway show did. But it was very theatrical. It was very across the universe, like yes, very close to across the universe. Right. But with more of an edgy side yeah. to it, of course. I did like the parts that were just like in time and less of him like recalling the memory. Yeah. Like just because I felt like that got a little cheesy. Yeah. But like the music. I really liked it, and especially if you like the music. And, uh, yeah. Really well done. I don't know. Just like was it? It was kind of nice though. To, like not be what I expected. Was it rated R, I think, or no? Um, I don't know. I don't. It was definitely PG-13 or above. Yeah. With like the drugs and everything that that Elton John had in his past, but go check it out. Give it a whirl. That's movie number one of our resurrection <laughs> of our AMC addiction. Right. Alrighty, we're home. Oh. Perfect. To live would be an awfully big adventure, Peter Pan. Oh. I think at least for like three or four days we can go back to normal. Mm-hmm. And the next visitors come Tuesday or Wednesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Three days. Two days. Yeah, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>